Hi everyone, in this video I will demonstrate running a proposal report. Uh, we're picking up uh, from where we left off in the last video in this Getting Started series, which was adding items to a project. So here we are in the project editor. Uh, these are the items that we've added. And if you click the Reports tab here, and then click the Client button here, this is going to open up the list of client reports. And the one I'm going to run for this video is the Proposal with Images. And when you expand a uh, proposal reporter, uh, a lot of these other reports as well, what you'll see beneath them um, are what are called the definitions. And each one of these definitions, um, they're named for how they group. In this case, by location, it will group my products by the locations that they've been assigned. So let's just go ahead and run that one. Um, you can either double click it or hit the run button here or run and close if you'd like to close this form. But we'll go ahead and leave that open because I'm going to run this a couple of different ways for you. So just hit the run button and this will open in the report viewer once it generates. And we'll go ahead and expand that to full screen. And what we have here is a cover page uh, with the customer information at the top, an image that you can certainly change per project if you'd like, uh, as well as your company information at the bottom of the cover page. Then we start getting into uh, the actual proposal itself, grouped by location. And here we're showing the products that are in each of those locations. In this case, we had a receiver and some speakers and then some speaker and some wires in these different locations. You notice that price is showing uh, project subtotals down here or group subtotals. Here's your project subtotal, and at the very end, you'll see uh, a summary of equipment, labor, sales tax, and a grand total, as well as some signature lines. And that's a stock proposal uh, inside of SI 2017. Um, now, I want to show you a few things about this. Uh, if you right-click a definition and choose to edit the report definition, you can change certain aspects of that report. For instance, if you didn't want to show uh, item prices and you just wanted to show group prices, you could do that. So we'll do that as an example. Uh, you can also turn off model number if you wanted to, even manufacturer name if you didn't want to show that. There's quite a few other options in here. You could even hide the cover page if you don't want a cover page. But what we'll do is just make that one change here. and We'll save this definition and we'll go ahead and run it again. And this time when we generate this proposal, uh, there will be no price per item. If you scroll down here, you'll notice now the price is not displaying just the group pricing is showing. And that's another setting you could turn off too, uh, group pricing. But that is a stock proposal inside of SI, and uh, that is how you run a proposal report.